welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in today's gonna be a pretty simple day I am just gonna be doing an oil change on the V for the first time since I've owned the car um, it's gonna be pretty easy I'm just gonna put it on the lift and do the oil change and I will also show you guys a little close-up on the engine bay and underneath give you guys a nice tour on the car since I haven't done that yet um, so yeah so stay tuned I'm heading to advanced auto parts right now to pick up the oil so I will update you guys when I get there On my way back from Advanced Auto Parts, I picked up the oil that I needed for my oil change. So now I'm just going to go home and put the car up on the lift, which I've never put the caddy on the lift myself. I think Brad has once to look underneath for something. I don't remember what he was doing, but um, I haven't put it on the lift yet, so it'd be interesting. Um, putting the Camaro on the lift is absolutely a horrible experience because it's so low. So I'm hoping to is a lot easier to put on the lift um, so when I get home I will uh, start doing that and I will catch up with you guys in just a few by draining the oil. So this is the underneath part of the CTSV. You can see the front moon splitter has the middle guard underneath for scraping purposes, which as you can tell, comes in handy. That's not all from me guys, I promise. Um, underneath is super, super clean. Super, super clean. Let's go ahead and get this oil change done, guys. saw that that oil shot out at me but uh, a lot more oil in there than I thought there was gonna be or I guess more pressure should I say
Camaro in quite some time because it's been down for over a year while the motor was getting worked on. While that continues to drip, guys, I'm gonna clean Bradley's because he's gonna be very mad when he sees this. It's like it never happened. filter is on. Now I'm just going to make sure it's nice and hand tight. I'm still able to turn it. Ow, this is still very hot. Oh my gosh. So, as long as it is hand tight, you really don't have to go in there with the tool to tighten it. Um, so I'm just using a towel to make sure because my hands are a little slippery from all the oil. So oil is drained, bolt is tight, filter is on. I got some minor cleanup to do um, since you know you kind of saw what happened. <laughs> you know, first time doing an oil change on the lift. Stuff's gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and then lower the car and I will uh, come back to you when I'm ready to put oil in. All right. want to get a closer look at my engine bay it's pretty simple and basic nothing too crazy yet I'm not sure I'm gonna be doing anything too fancy to this motor because I want it to be a hundred percent reliable um, it does have you know the gauge green belt obviously um, it's got my ice tanks back there a little ice box per se um, which doesn't do too too much as far as cooling goes, um, but you know, it's, it's very small. Anyway, it is spaced for meth. <sighs> um, so yeah, it's, it's basically it. This is the motor, super clean. Probably gonna end up running meth injection on this and adding a bigger ice box than this one in the trunk. Just so I can try and maybe go lower than tens, possibly. Haven't decided. Um, but this car doesn't have too much done to it. It is a stock bottom end. Um, it has really just intake, the air rate intake. It has uh, the Texas speed long tubes, and it's got the upper pulley. That's about it.
back at it when it hits 25 again, so I can stay consistent. And now I think I'm just gonna take off those back tires and switch them with the Camaro so they're not rubbing again. So, while I'm already disgusting. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Simple video gone slightly wrong when the oil shot out at me like a rocket. It was my first time using the lift for an oil change, so I really wasn't sure what I was expecting. Um, <laughs> needless to say, it was interesting and very hot. But it's done and hopefully all cleaned up. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe below. I've got more content coming your way. And thank you guys again for tuning in.